Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitali. On this episode of Learning Kitchen, I'm sharing with you what I'm gonna call like my Tex-Mex butternut squash and quinoa stew. It takes absolutely no time to make at all. It takes about a half an hour. It's so good. It's totally vegetarian. I think it's completely vegan to be honest with you, but I wanted to share it with you because it's incredibly satisfying, perfect for this time of year, and uh, you can just change things a million and one ways, like I always say, especially with soups and stews. So, but I wanted to share this with you because it is a, just a magical blend of flavors that I think you'll love. The ingredients you're gonna start off with is of course some butternut squash. I just took a small butternut squash and I just peeled it and cubed it. I've got a red onion, you could use yellow. I've got some garlic all chopped up. This is some diced tomatoes and this is a small can of mild green chilies. I've got some chickpeas. This is a can of chickpeas that I have drained and rinsed. Some quinoa and then for spices I've got paprika, garlic, oregano, cumin and chili. And this is some vegetable stock. Uh, this is like a um, tomato based vegetable stock that I had in my freezer but any vegetable stock will do. You'll need some salt and pepper and of course some oil. I'm using light olive oil but you can use vegetable oil. Um, extra virgin olive oil is a little bit too strong for this. It kind of overpowers the flavor of everything else so that's why I like to use a light olive oil. Now if you don't want to use quinoa, you can use rice, you can use farro, you can use barley, you can use any grain you like. You, you are going to have to alter the cooking times because quinoa only takes about 15 minutes to cook while everything else might take a little bit longer. If you don't want to use butternut squash, you can use potatoes, you can use sweet potatoes, you can use ripe potatoes, you can use anything that you want. This is sort of my favorite blend for this kind of soup just because it gives you so much flavor with like no fat minimal ingredients and I just love anything Tex-Mex and I think that sort of light spiciness from the mild chilies and the spices against the sweet butternut squash is heaven. So I've got a big pan here, a, you know my big heavy duty pot with some olive oil in the very bottom and I'm going to bring that to temperature. I want this over about medium heat because I want to saute my vegetables but I'm going to wait for just one more minute. I'm going to take a piece of butternut squash, put it in there and once it starts bubbling up we'll add it all in. Adding in my veggies and then I want to get I want some salt and pepper on those because remember seasoning every layer of your dish is how you get a really well rounded seasoned dish at the end of the day. Give these all a really good stir and you're going to cook this for about I would say seven to eight minutes or until your veggies start to develop a little bit of color. Those two are stuck together and cook down a bit. A oh, little piece of peel. I'm going to add my tomatoes and my chili along with my stock. This is going to be so good. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> my chickpeas. You can use black beans here. That'd be really lovely too. Or white beans. And then my spice blend. I'm not going to add the quinoa just yet because it's not time. Now what you need to do is you need for this to come to a boil. Reduce the heat to like medium low, let it simmer for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, wash your quinoa. Make sure you just wash it through a fine sieve and let the water run through until the water is completely clear because quinoa does have like a little bit of a powder residue on it, coating it and it's really bitter so you need to wash it. So I'm just going to let this cook up, cook away, I'm not going to do anything to it for 10 minutes once it comes to a boil and then we will get going on adding the quinoa. But I'll show you when we get there. This looks great. It's been, once it came up to a boil, which took a few minutes, I have let it just simmer for 10 minutes. Now what I've done is I have washed my quinoa over and over again, making sure that the water runs clear. And now I'm gonna add it right to it. I'm using red and white, but you can use any quinoa you like. And now of course you want to check on the packaging on the back of your quinoa to make sure you know how long this needs to cook for. Mine needs to cook for about 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put a lid on, let this simmer nice and slow for 15 minutes and then we are ready to serve. This looks fantastic. At this point we want to make sure you taste this for seasoning. I already have because remember when you buy vegetable stock or chicken stock or anything like that, they do come pretty salty already and you want to make sure you taste it before you add any additional salt because sometimes you don't need to add any more. In my case, I added a small extra pinch, but that's about it. Now you can you, you know, you can eat this with some cilantro on top, but I quite like it this way because I don't want anything to take away the flavor combination from the butternut squash and the quinoa. Look at the mess that I made. 
Where's my little mopine? Can't even serve myself up without making a mess. But look at the texture of that. It is just, it's perfectly thick. The butternut squash is tender, but it's not falling apart and it's not mushy. I love chickpeas, so I know I'm gonna love that. Smells so insanely good. I can smell the cumin. My mouth is watering. <laughs> the chilies. Mmm. Mmm. Hot dog. Mmm. That is so good. The quinoa has flavor of its own, but it still has a little bit of crunch because it's got really great texture. This is just an all all in one perfect supper. Serve a little side salad alongside, and you are good to go. Go to lauraimnikitchen.com to get the recipe. Let me know down below some of your favorite vegetarian recipes that you would like to see me recreate here in Laura in the Kitchen because I always love recreating your favorites because then it feels like we're in this together. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.